Hi everyone and welcome. In this video, we're going to walk through the basics of getting your new hot tub up and running with the right water chemistry. Don't worry, it's simpler than it sounds and once you learn the routine, it'll only take a few minutes each week. Step 1. Filling the spa. Start by filling your spa with clean house water. You don't want to use secondary or soft water. If soft water is your only option, you'll need a hardness increaser. The spa needs to be filled through the filter canister. If your water is very hard or full of minerals, a pre-filter on your hose can really help prevent buildup. Step two, test your water. Once the spa is full and circulating, it's time to test. Pull out a fresh strip. Make sure your fingers are dry so you don't ruin the rest in the bottle. Dip the whole strip in the water, then match the colors to your chart. You'll mainly be checking pH, alkalinity, and sanitizer. Step three, balance your chemicals. Balance your water in this order. First alkalinity, then pH, then your sanitizer. Alkalinity keeps pH steady, so fix it first. Once that's in range, adjust your pH. Incorrect pH and alkalinity levels make it so your sanitizer is not as effective. Finally, add your chlorine or bromine to sanitize the water. Add chemicals in small amounts, let the water circulate for 20 to 30 minutes, and retest to make sure you're in range. If not, keep adding each chemical until you are at the correct levels. All chemicals can go directly into the spa's water. Balancing alkalinity. Low alkalinity causes your pH to bounce around. High alkalinity causes cloudy water and scale. Aim for 80 to 120 parts per million. pH minus or pH down will lower alkalinity. Balancing pH. Once alkalinity is balanced, adjust your pH. Your goal is between 7.2 and 7.8 parts per million. Low pH causes the water to become acidic, which can be rough on your spa and your skin. High pH causes scaling and cloudy water. Use pH plus or pH up products until you're in range. Adding sanitizer. Now it's time to sanitize the water. This is what keeps your spa clean and safe. If you're using chlorine, aim for one to three parts per million. If you're using bromine, aim for two to six parts per million. Chlorine is a granular powder. If using bromine, you will need tablets and a floater. The floater will have numbers down the side. The more you have the floater open, the more bromine it will dispense in the water. Adjust the floater so the bromine levels stay in the okay range. Step four, stain and scale preventer. Stain and scale preventer prevents the damage that hard water can do to your spa. First, it will prevent the scale from accumulating on the acrylic at the water line. Second, it will remove metals from the water that can cause staining. For dosage amounts, follow the instructions on the back of the bottle. It is based on the gallon size of your spa. The liquid is added directly to the water in the spa. This product is used monthly. It is recommended to wait one hour after adding this product before entering the spa. If using a mineral cartridge, the cartridge will need to be removed from the spa. It can be put back in after 24 hours. Step five, shock the water. The last step is a shock treatment. Shocking burns off any organic buildup, keeps the water fresh, and makes your sanitizer more effective. We like to use shock after every use. If you are in the spa alone for 15 minutes, you will use less shock than four people in for an hour. After adding shock, leave the cover partially open for about 20 minutes with the jets running. This will allow the gases to vent outside of the spa. The shock will be more effective and prolong the life of your cover. Maintenance tips. Weekly testing. Use test strips to check pH, alkalinity, and sanitizer, chlorine or bromine. Clean your filters. Once a month, take out the filter and rinse with a garden hose to remove hair, leaves, and debris. Replace your water one to three times a year for the best spa experience. Wipe the acrylic. While drained, wipe down the interior with a spa-safe cleaner. Avoid household cleaners that leave residues. Shower. Encourage users to rinse off lotions, deodorant, sunscreen, and sweat before soaking. Clean your cover. 
Wipe the cover inside and out with a mild solution to stop mold and mildew. This should be done once a month. And that's it. Hot tub water chemistry really comes down to a simple routine. Test, balance, sanitize, and shock. If you follow these steps, your spa will stay crystal clear, safe, and ready to enjoy anytime. If you found this helpful, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more spa tips, and feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions about your new hot tub.